Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Corda K channel. Now, in this lecture, I want to show you how to run an ARP spoofing attack using Betacap. This will allow us to place our computer in the middle of the connection and intercept data. Not only that, but we are also going to see how we can read this data so we can see all the URLs and all the websites that the target visits and we'll see everything that they post. So anything and usernames and passwords they send to any websites, we are going to be able to capture them and see them. So first, we need to become the man in the middle and we are going to do this using a module called ARP spoof. Now I am scrolling up to the help menu. You can see we have a module here called ARP spoof. So, as usual, if we don't know how to use this module, we are going to do help arp.spoof because we want to see how to use this module and see all the options that we can set for it. So as you can see, as usual, we can do an arp spoof on to turn this module on. We can do arp.ban on and this will literally just cut the connection of the target. This is very simple. You can try it on your own time. I'm not going to do it here. You can do ARP spoof to turn it off and ARP.ban off to turning the ban off. Now, in the previous lecture, I also said anything you see under the parameters as the options that we can set for the specific module, but I didn't show you how to modify that. So in this lecture, we are actually going to be modifying some of these options. Now, as you can see, the tool is actually very helpful because first of all, it's given us the option name in yellow here. So these are the options that we can set, that we can change. And then it's also telling us a description of what this option does and the default value. So, for example, we can see we have an option called arp.spoof.full duplex. You can see the description for this option. And basically what this option will do if you set it to true, it will fool both the router and the target. So it's similar to what we did with the ARP spoof when we executed the command twice to spoof both the router and the target. So if you set this to true, both the router and the target will be spoofed and you will be in the middle of the connection. If you leave it to the default, which is false, you will only spoof the target machine. Now. This can be useful if the writer has some sort of protection against ARP spoofing attacks because you want to be interacting with the router at all. But it's also limiting because we won't be able to do what I'm going to do in the next lectures because the router will communicate with the target device directly. So we won't be able to inject stuff and the responses that thereafter send to the target device. Now, I actually want to change this to true and the method I'm going to do this can be used to change any option in any module. In the Betic app, so not only in the ARP.spoof, if you're using any module, you can do help, followed by the module name to get help about that module name. You can see all of the options that you can set in here. And then if you want to modify the value of any of these options, all you have to do is copy the option name, which is what I have right here. And type set, followed by the option that you want to modify. And in my case, it's called arp.spoof.full duplex. And I want to set this to true. So very, very simple and as I said, you can use this command to change any option in any module and better cap, all you have to do is type set, followed by the option name, followed by the value that you want to set. So I'm going to hit enter and that's done. If you don't see errors, that means it got executed properly. The next option that I want to change is the targets. So again, in the description, it's telling us that these are the targets that I want to run the attack against. And I can use a comma if I wanted to target more than one IP at the same time. So, again, just like what I did before, I'm going to do set followed by the option name, which is arp.spoof.target and you can actually use the tab to autocomplete complete. So if I just type ta tab, it'll autocomplete the targets for me and after this, I'm going to put the value that I want to set this option to, which is the IP of my target. And we can get this using NetDiscover using ZenMap or using the result that I got in here after I run the recon module. I did net.show and we got all of this. 
which is the list of all of the computers connected to the same network. And my target right now is this particular device, the 10024. This is my Windows Virtual Machine right here. So I'm going to put the IP 10024. And again, we don't see any errors, which means that everything got executed as expected. Now we are ready to run the tool. And again, based on the help menu that we got, we can do an ARP spoof on turn this module on. So we are going to do ARP the spoof on. And perfect, as you can see, we see no errors, it's telling us that the module is running and if I do help again, we are going to get a list of all of the modules that are running right now. And as you can see, we can see that ARP spoofing is on. Also, it is very important that you make sure that the net.probe and the net.recon are running. We did this in the previous lecture. That's why I didn't do it now. So right now, Betacap should be doing what ARP spoofing was doing for them, both the writer and the target device, and put me in the middle of the connection as shown here. So let's go to the Windows machine right here. And I'm going to do ARPA. And as you can see, the router's MAC address right here is the same as the MAC address for this device, which is the 100215. And if I go back here to the Kali Linux machine and do if config, you'll see this is the same MAC address as the MAC address of the Kali ATH0 interface. So basically what this means is this Windows machine, every time it wants to send something to the router, it will send it to the Kali machine. And because we set the full duplex option on and better cop, the router also thinks that the Scali Linux machine is the target machine. Therefore, anytime it needs to send a response to the Windows machine, it will actually send it to Betacap right here. And like I said before, this means every username, password, your URL, anything the target computer sends or receives will have to go through the Kali Linux machine where we are going to be able to read it, modify it or drop it. And I'm going to walk you through that in the next lectures. Thank you for watching this video. To know more about hacking and also other programming knowledge please visit our website, codok.in, which is in the below description. If you like this video give me a thumbs up. If you get any informative knowledge on hacking please share it with your friends. To watch more and more videos like this, please subscribe to the Codok channel and click on the bell icon. Okay friends bye and have a great day.